Hey there YouTube, you are watching your mom's a face channel. Today we are going to continue our little series on reloading. Uh, this one is specifically going to cover the equipment that you're going to need. Uh, first piece of equipment is a garage or basement to uh, do it in. A safe place away from kids and uh, her children and other people so that if anything were to go wrong, you know, you don't put them in harm's way. Uh, I chose the garage because I don't have a basement. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to make this a very long video. I might just go over some pricing, some equipment that I use. Um, and not everybody's going to need everything that I have. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I have a, a different process sometimes, kind of with Tupperware and uh, just a little bit of sorting different things, hand gestures. So let's get right into it. Um, the first thing you can actually, and the most important things are going to be on the on the first list. This, all that you see right here, is a kit. You can buy it in a kit. You can buy it all separate. It's going to be more expensive. This is a single stage press kit. It's a Lee. It's the uh, I think the bench, the challenge uh, breach kit. And in that kit, I think it ran wherever I got it was a hundred and ten dollars. I actually got it on sale. So with that, you get the um, you get the press, you get the powder measure, you get a funnel, you get the uh, primer, the hand primer is what that's called. And it just pops primers in there. Um, you get the scale, the little tool kit. Um, this is the only tool I use right now because I'm only doing pistol calibers. That just cleans out um, your little pocket where your primer goes in. Gets all the soot out. Uh, these are more for like your rifle calibers to trim and do all that stuff. So all that comes in a kit, and you can actually find that for like 110 to 120 dollars. And that is the absolute most important products right there that you're going to need for um, reloading. Next. I would go to my case tumbler. I love having clean brass. Um, I bought this one at Shields. Um, there's no media in there. Bought this one at Shields for I want to say like thirty dollars, um, and it, it's very valuable because whenever I go to the range, I grab a ton of brass. Uh, whatever's around me, I just sweep it up and put it in a pile and take it home. Um, and I clean all of it, you know. You can actually save brass that you don't need and sell it online. Um, what I do, I, I've just, I just give them to friends. that I, If I don't reload it, I give them to a friend that I know does reload them. Um, and I go that route. Another thing with the, uh, with the tumbler is a sifter. You don't have to have one of these. It just makes it a little bit easier. They have other sifters. Um, I, can't remember, I think it's just called another tumbler, a case tumbler. I'm not sure what it's called, because that's actually the tumbler or the, uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, I call this a sifter. And um, basically it just keeps all the brass in here when the uh, media falls out of it. Um, and on the same lines of all of that, I keep a big piece of Tupperware and like some bags if I'm going to put the brass in there. But uh, that's all my media. And I'll dump it into there and uh, just reuse that media. The media I will go over in the uh, the products that you need. That video, um, that'll be the next video. Um, all right. So that's uh, at my actual table. What I have sitting on the table at all times. And an assortment of Tupperwares always helps me. I keep my Tupperware. I just have a little system that I use for. Uh, new cases for um, ones that have just been uh, tumbled but uh, still need to be you know decapped resized and uh, primed and belled and all that stuff and then you know just say everybody's got their own um, own processes the next ones uh, are just kind of your like uh, here my things you need uh, some writing utensils something to mark because you get a mark in this book um, you can get just uh, specific caliber. I like to get the specific caliber books. Um, they sell big manuals with every caliber in it. I didn't say that. I only really like two different calibers: 38 Special and 45 ACP. Um, 
these books are really handy though. They got every powder you can think of. Um, and just a lot of different recipes for different books. Next would be these trays. These are lifesaver. Um, especially with 38 special because they're taller and they don't stand up on the on just any surface um, by themselves as well as 45 ACP. So I use these a lot for the um, uh, 38 special. Um, but yeah, these are really handy. And if you get these, they double. Like you could do a 38 special through, you know, 357, 44 Magnum, and uh, a lot of rifle calibers in these. And if you flip it over, you have like your 45 ACP and um, I don't know, 223, 9mm, all your, a lot of different uh, other ones, other calibers. Next thing you would need would be a caliper. Um, this one is your basic, I think it's the cheapest one you can get. It's probably like right around $20. This is a uh, kind of a crucial item for uh, you find your overall depths and, uh, you know, different things. Sometimes you'll need that for finding a, a diameter of your barrel um, and with doing like a bullet test and all that stuff. Make sure you're not, um, all your bullets are the correct um diameter so next of course is your dies we've covered dies but that is a product that you need and your last product that I'm going to say is a container something to contain um, all of your reloads in something that's going to keep them safe dry um, this one was uh, just one that I picked up at an army surplus store and um, I just keep all my stuff in there um, these are good to get too, these little cases. You don't have to have these, but they kind of help out. I have some for 38 special, and then the 45 ACP I haven't picked up one. I just have been putting it in a, in a bag. But uh, just kind of keep them so they won't get wet and uh, won't get damaged. So, that is uh, all the equipment you are going to need for reloading. Um and tune into the next video and I will go over all the products you need such as gunpowders, um, your case tumbling media, all that good stuff. Alright, you guys uh, come back. Talk to you later. Bye.